And a key question a lot of people have had about President Trump in his final weeks in office is, is he going to go quietly and, uh, you know, basically try to do the right thing with regard to markets and the economy, or is he going to try to burn the house down? Well, I think we should be concerned. I mean, look what happened yesterday. Steve Mnuchin, the Secretary of Treasury, uh, basically saying it's time to end some of those stimulus programs that Congress put into place all the way back in March. And we got this very unusual response from the Federal Reserve saying, no, we shouldn't end them, but Treasury gets to call the shots in this case. So this looks a little bit like uh, economic sabotage, to be honest. Um, Mnuchin has said, no, he didn't do this for political purposes. But I mean, a lot of economists weighing in on this today saying, what is the point of this? Why would you do this? Why would you take aid off the table, given that we're still in a pretty deep hole? Treasury Secretary Mnuchin pretty much said, you know, we don't really need to extend these lending programs. He says the markets will be fine. They'll be stable. The economic data is pretty good. What's your reaction here? Well, I tell you what, I I think that Secretary Mnuchin is operating in territory he may not fully understand. We cannot pass a budget. We can't balance a checkbook. We can't even elect the leader of this country without consternation. So to take a program away from the Fed, which normally I think is out to lunch and out of control anyway, this is one of those rare instances where I side with the Fed. The Fed would be prudent to have those things there. Traders know it. Investors know it. I think psychologically, Secretary Mnuchin has made a bad error here. And my fear is that it comes back to bite the markets. More deeply, and that was a surprising decision by the Treasury to shut down several of the Fed's emergency uh, lending facilities. The Fed, in a letter saying they disagreed with that decision, Brian Chung joins us now with all of the details. Um, Brian, you are on the Fed beat, so I, I would just start by saying, were you surprised to see this exchange between the two organizations? And as you've had some time to think about it, how is it best understood by investors just exactly what is happening and why? Absolutely. So when a lot of people hear liquidity facilities, they might not know what we're talking about. So to back up, the Federal Reserve and the Treasury were appropriated $454 billion in the CARES Act back in March to team up together and provide some backstops to financial markets, which, as many will recall during that time, uh, were in a lot of turmoil because of the COVID-19 pandemic picking up here in the United States. Now, the question is whether or not they should be extending those financial market backstops past December 31st, because as designed, the Federal Reserve and the Treasury were going to allow, uh, allow a lot of those liquidity facilities to expire. So the Treasury Secretary sending a letter to Fed Chairman Jay Powell yesterday saying it's time to close them down. Not only is it time to close nine of these 13 liquidity facilities down, but it's also time to return the unused money. So uh, the Treasury, again, saying their stance is to close these things down, but the Federal Reserve clapping back with their own statement, saying on their part that the Federal Reserve, quote, would prefer that the full suite of emergency facilities established during this pandemic continue to serve their important role as a backstop for their still strained and vulnerable economy. And while many may not see why that statement would be such a big deal, I can tell you from personal firsthand that this is as close as you'll get to the Federal Reserve uh, essentially arguing in the public sphere with the body that they've essentially been teaming up with together for the last eight months. It's really been a breakdown between these two bodies that have tried to engineer a pandemic response uh, from the U.S. government side of things now falling apart with the uh, disagreement over whether or not to extend these facilities. So a lot worth watching. It looks like Steven Mnuchin is speaking on CNBC right now, some headlines crossing saying that he thinks that, quote, people are missing the issue and criticizing the decision on the Fed, likely referring to the optics of trying to shut down these emergency backstops right before a new administration takes place next year in January. But a lot worth watching as the uh, coronavirus cases do hit new record highs this week. Brian, let's stay on that new administration topic. What does this mean that these facilities, uh, all right, so they were to expire, the Fed gives that money back. What does that mean to President-elect Biden and his team? Yeah, so let's back up. I mean, there are a number of liquidity facilities. They are each designed to target different things. We had that full screen that we showed you of the different types of facilities that exist. So the Treasury is telling the Federal Reserve to close down specifically those that target the corporate bond markets, what they call the primary, secondary market corporate credit facilities, in addition to that landmark program that's gotten a lot of attention, the Main Street Lending Program, which is targeting small to medium-sized businesses, in addition to help to state and local governments through the municipal liquidity facility. Now, 
as we know, it's those small businesses in addition to state and local governments that have been hurt the most. So these are the types of uh, businesses and entities that the Biden administration will really need to help once they do come into office in January. Obviously, all that chatter about a fiscal package leaning heavily on whether or not the Senate can flip blue based on the results of those Georgia runoff elections, which we won't know until early January. But it does seem like the Biden administration will have its work cut out for them, especially if those Fed backstops are not uh, available after December 31st. President Trump, in his final weeks in office, is is he going to go quietly and uh, you know basically try to do the right thing with regard to markets and the economy, or is he going to try to burn the house down? Burn the house down. Burn the house down. Burn the house down.